Hello friends, I am Dr. Garema Sharma, Senior Fertility Consultant at Apollo Fertility Thane. So today's topic for talk is ICSI, all that you should know. Well, thanks to the Google search, nowadays the couples who have been advised for IVF, they come to me and say, Madam, we have come across this term called ICSI, let's do it. So it's very important for us to understand what exactly is ICSI and certain other facts about it. Now, ICSI stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Basically, there are two ways of fertilizing an egg in an ART procedure. One is a conventional way, wherein you put one egg around about 50,000 to more sperms in a culture condition, and then you incubate it for a couple of hours. The fertilization happens when one of these sperms, it penetrates and enters the cytoplasm of the egg. And this is called as IVF. On the other hand, there is a technique called as ICSI or the intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Here you pick up the mature eggs and then you separate them from the surrounding eggs. Now at this point of time, with the help of a micro injection needle and under a very high power magnification, you inject one sperm into the cytoplasm of one egg. All these injected eggs are again put into the culture dish and they are incubated for a day and looked for signs of fertilization. Now who really needs ICSI? Is it meant for all? Of course not. Now ICSI was primarily brought into picture for severe male infertility, wherein the counts are too low, that's less than 5 million per ml. The motility is really poor, that's about less than 10%, and extremely poor morphology, that's the make or the shape of the sperms, which is less than 4%. The other couples which might benefit with ICSI are ones, where there have been episodes of previous failed fertilization on a conventional IVF cycle. Certain couples with unexplained infertility may also show little better results with ICSI. Also, we would do ICSI when you are using frozen eggs or you are thinking of a procedure like IVM, that's in vitro maturation. Beyond this, there are certain important facts that you should know about ICSI. Now, the fertilization success of ICSI is about 50 to 80 percent and it is dependent on multiple variables. Not all eggs injected would fertilize. Not all embryos that are formed would continue to grow. Also, you might, you might actually damage the eggs at the time of ICSI. So, it is very important that ICSI should be done by an expert embryologist. Also, the chance of a birth defect because of ICSI or IVF are similar and these defects are not increased or uh, they are not there because of the procedure. They are there because of some cause of infertility, especially if it's a severe male factor or if it's a very low ovarian reserve. When we know that there are possibly uh, quality issues with either the egg or the sperm leading to certain genetic issues. So the take home message is ICSI is a very sophisticated technique which is utilized for certain specific situations. It is not meant for all and it is always, always to be done by an embryologist who is trained into it. If you still have any queries on this, please feel free to connect with me at Apollo Fertility Thane. Thank you.